Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, bringing you the obvious, and today on boards.4chan.org slash Paul. So here on the Hacker 4chan, as well as in an article on computing, here it says, Anonymous data can be de-anonymized to reveal people's real identities, researchers warn. Now that's absolutely terrifying. Machine learning algorithm can identify 99.98% of people in any anonymized data dataset claim Imperial College researchers. Now, I don't know how good their algorithm was. I don't know if this is flawed or not, and I really don't know how they set this up. But if that's true, well, it's not good for anonymous people online. Before we look at this thread, let's check out the short article. So here we go. Researchers have developed an algorithm that can correctly determine the real identities of individuals from anonymous data sets using just 15 demographic attributes. The research conducted by scientists from Imperial College of London and UC Leuven in Belgium indicates that current methods of data anonymization can protect complex data sets of personal information against re-identification. Companies and governments downplay the risk of re-identification by arguing that data sets they sell are always incomplete. Our findings show this might not help. So the new study published in Journal of Nature Communications shows that machine learning algorithms can easily reverse engineer such anonymous data to re-identify individuals with a high degree of accuracy. Oh, the humanity! For years, a lot of people like us have been talking about the fact that nothing is private and that it should be like no company, no company out there should have a right to be able to collect our private information and sell it for profit. It's absolutely garbage bullcrap and it's totalitarian, it's authoritarian, and it's very scary stuff. It's 1984 tier. They have all our information, and using that information that's sometimes, much of the time, publicly available, it will not be long, like we see here, where algorithms can take that and use it to find us anywhere on the internet, even if we're anonymous. It's actually quite scary. So according to the researchers, their new tool can re-identify 99.98% of Americans in any available anonymized data set by using only 15 attributes, including gender, age, and marital status. While there might be a lot of people who are in their 30s male and living in New York City, far few of them were also born on the 5th of January, are driving a red sports car, and live with two kids, both girls and one dog. Explained study co-author Dr. Luke Rutcher of UC Lovian. Lovian. So these people, uh, I don't want to call them evil or stupid or the harbingers of the end of the world. You know, they're scientists and they're doing science. But I find this deeply troubling, as should you all, especially if you browse on anonymous image basket weaving boards that are Mongolian. Such details could enable buyers of supposedly anonymous data to create detailed personal profiles of individuals. You see, yeah, this is, none of us are safe anymore. It's almost impossible to stop it. You know, one of these days, some master hacker, you mean like 4chan? Is gonna be, get tired of this crap, and they're gonna create some sort of quantum virus that's gonna destroy all the private databases and destroy all personal information and set us all free. Dr. Yves Alexandre de Montjoy of Imperial's Department of Computing and Data Science Institute pointed out that while personal data is covered under GDPR, if it is anonymized, it can be sold to anyone. And yet here are finding that it doesn't matter if it's anonymized because they can just use some AI to de-anonymize it. So a lawyer for Facebook told a judge in the US court that Facebook users should not expect privacy on Facebook as there's no user privacy on any social media platform. So just nuke them all then. The company has also been accused of hawking users' smartphone data to telecoms and phone makers. Healthcare and technology firms often collect user data, including information from healthcare records, and convert it into supposedly anonymous data. So we have a huge crisis on our hands. All these people, they gather our data, they make it anonymous, and now they sell it. But now, using the power of technology, it doesn't matter. They will know who it belongs to who. And anonymous data is not even subject to regulation. So... It's terrible, folks. Uh, so here on the Hacker 4 chance, Anon asks, How effed are we? So Anon says, This type of user profiling has been known for about 20 years. Now it's just automated and beefed up by AI algorithms. Anon said, I forgot to write how easily it is to get around. Just write differently. Use dots and commas and sentences differently. Use words other than those you regularly abuse. Make grammar and spelling mistakes. Write everything in lowercase. Yes, it's that simple. 
Now, I don't see how that protects you from demographic attributes, but but this is a good um, advice when it comes to writing. Here, Anon says, Well, I'm not effed because I never post anything online that I couldn't defend to my own name. Sorry if you guys were acting like total morons the whole time on here. Here, Anon says, I meant everything I said and regret nothing. Go F yourselves. Anon says, He doesn't regularly type misinformation to throw off these programs. I'm a 19-year-old girl from Switzerland who came to Japan last month for a modeling job. And Anon says, who gives a shit? Everything I've posted on her is satire. Here, Anon says, Unironically, I think this might be a good thing. I don't think that they get that, but we're isolated in these Tibetan underwater Makram forums. If forced to publicly own their opinions, I think a lot of us would go <laughs> even further right. Meaning going full out in the open because we'll have no other choice. Here, Thrice Greatest says, not effed at all. If anything, this gives 4chan so much power because the AI is at the mercy of anonymous profiles. Think about it. No matter how complex the algorithm, AI is still limited by the intelligence of those who created it. In the act of data, mining data information, all the AI will collect is a profile that is marked by location, frequency, rate of accessibility, and will match to the best of its abilities the profiles that match those locations and rate the accessibility to postings that are connected to social media usage. And 4chan is full of people who have over 9,000 proxies on top of over 9,000 social media accounts. It'll be a clusterfuck for the AI and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the AI resolves the issue by simply treating Anonymous as one person, which can only result in copious amounts of lulls. You saw it here first, folks. Imagine the personality profile it would give. Here Anand says, that feel in. I make far left posts in one thread, centrist posts in another thread, and right wing posts in another thread. Gotta keep the feds guessing. This Anon says, my big bro is serving 10 years in prison for using the word, for using the n-word online over 26,000 times. <laughs> Here Anon says, machine learning algorithm identifies anonymous 4chan user, Pole, as an extremely racist and an extremely online individual. Can already see the headline. Who is this 4chan? And here Anon says something that's quite dark and really extremely annoying. So you don't have a LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter account, Anon? Nope. I think social media has a deleterious effect on its users, so I don't engage with people in that fashion. You're not hired, but I wish I could do that. Every job interview for the last 10 years. <laughs> okay, so this Anon, uh, not only does his ID tag say gay, uh, he seems to be of the small hat gang. So here's what he had to say. Since you're all stupid, let me explain why and how you're effed. If you haven't noticed, because of activists, judges interpreting the law however they want, and the system allowing it, basically, if the system wants you down, it will get you down. All they need to do is vilify you to the public, and this is easily done when they have a decent pile of vague incrimination of bad character. Being the hacker known as 4chan, who is a Trump supporting right winger ticking time bomb, is a very good start. From there, they can go to various weird and shady. Note, I'm not saying illegal shit you did online. Remember those guy a week ago who did something and it was publicized that they Freaked it, 4chan. How did they know? How much uproar did this breach of privacy cause? By collecting all this data, they are insuring themselves against your descent. They will be more than happy to make an example out of you. Once you're here, your hands are pretty much tied. Now, I don't know how much I believe that, but he's definitely right. They will use anything they can against you. They will demonize places like Hacker 4chan and blackmail and censor everyone. And that's pretty much the story, my friends. I think it goes without saying that if they can truly de-anonymize information, not only is all the private info that companies harvest off of us and sell anonymously to people not safe, basically, your information is not safe. Nothing is safe anymore. You can find out anything about anyone, and we will soon live in reality without privacy. Truly a nightmare. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this horrible technology, this horrible AI? What do you think about the fact that anonymous data is basically not anonymous? Be sure to let me know. Now, because every time I upload a video, I get demonetized, you can help support me by joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as one dollar. Doing so will get you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. There's also PayPal options. There's different tiers on Patreon and Subscribestar. You can pick whichever you wish. Be sure to check out my affiliate link for magnetic MacBook Pro covers. Protect yourself from hackers and spies. It sticks right on. It's very aesthetic. And there is a Neon Cat version. 
Lastly, because websites are no longer sharing red pilled content, you can help out by posting videos you enjoy on social media. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.